You were just chilling there a second ago. <laughs> Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Uh... <laughs> okay. Free range humans <laughs> versus cage controlled ones. Oh, oh. Human husbandry. The flock is not. Oh my gosh. Establishing and growing a herd! A human trusts its owner, does not feel freer. Uh. Oh. Um. Wait. So it's not afraid. If a human is not afraid when the blood is drunk, it doesn't taste as good. But they do have a sexual tension type thing, which does make it taste better so you can have like depends on what you like if you like the sex taste or the fear taste like <laughs> and just how do freaking does it does it does, i mean you put a bunch of male and female humans in a room with access to water and food they're gonna be absolutely miserable they're not gonna make babies like they're not gonna do they wouldn't last very long and you would have a really small breeding stock this is the terrifying thing we're discussing right now what the frick <laughs> what am i saying uh, in recent decades, many of us have come to believe that a much more effective way of obtaining good quality human blood than hunting individuals is our systematic controlled husbandry, apart from the obvious advantages such as being able to control what the flock eats and the ability to cross between specific individuals to obtain offspring with the best hemoglobin. Another clear advantage to breeding human flocks is that domesticated humans held in confinement as opposed to those in their natural habitat villages, i.e. villages and towns, <laughs> become less aggressive and therefore less troublesome. Really? Well, the thing is, if a vampire came in and, like, offered to be, like, a great and noble, like, lord and, like, make them, give them, basically was, like, a chill lord and would, like, uh, let you eat whatever you wanted, like, people would be pretty, pretty stoked. Especially in the olden day, anywhere where you're, like, not, when access to good food is, is, or access to food at all is very limited in some cases, like, a steady supply of food, people will be willing to forgive a lot, <laughs> like, I think. When it comes to farming humans, there are various schools, of which two seem to have gained the widest acceptance in recent times. Namely, battery cage and free-range husbandry. This is freaking hilarious and terrifying. This thesis describes in detail the advantages and disadvantages, as well as the methods of carrying out each type of breeding. As an introduction, it's worth mentioning the basic differences of both types. Yeah, so we, we kind of looked at that. Oh my gosh. What's this? Champion of Teshumut. Now, I am he who serves the tribe. It's all above men. I renounce human weakness. Uplifted above men, I become the keeper of my flock. Filled with strength, I turn my sword against the enemies of the tribe. I am master and slave. I am executor of the will of the tribe. I accept this sword and this armor so I may serve the tribe. I did pick up some armor. Some te 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 Teshumutna armor. Uh, got some more. Uh, well, I did not pick up a sword. Cells? Who for? Ah, disgraceful. Excruciatingly so, this particular page from our history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's alright with you. Okay. A doll. You had cages for human children. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garrison. My tribe oh. and Deadlos. We both remained in this part of the world. Oh, it's a hand oh, it's a hand with the Assassin's Creed symbol on it. Well that one's different. Tell me about this one. This one. Whose is this cliff? Amarun. They ventured beyond the sea. Well, and the fact that they're like animal husbandry, blah, blah or human husbandry, blah, 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 blah. It's funny because they got here after humans. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. 
it's a snake wrapped around a... Oh, um... And you just, like, you just kept him in the walls? Also? Whoa. Thank you for the money. Uh, you guys did some terrible things back in the olden days. Transcript of a conversation with a lower being. Why are we here? Transcript of a conversation between Master Ezeal healed the guard and a human being. Okay, so these are all, are they all humans? And like, they're talking about humans. Did they try to like, do the same thing with elves and dwarves? Or yay or nay, you know? Like, meh. Who are you? My name is Alex Bicon. Why is your skin trembling? I'm scared, sir. You're scared? I don't understand. You don't know what fear is, sir. No, I have mastered your language, yet some concepts are beyond me. What is fear? It's a feeling that destroys every other feeling. It controls your head and your heart. What do you mean? I thought it was a kind of pain. I have carried out tests in my lab laboratory on people, and I discovered that a mother subject to appropriate stimuli is able to forget about her child and think only about how to avoid pain. So fear would be similar to pain? This is... This is... This is... This is a horrible uh no pain rules the body but fear is born of the heart so we got a pretty intelligent human able to converse at this point because i'd be like dude it sucks <laughs> oh yes what you say is very interesting i think i'll have to examine your heart in the laboratory uh what do you mean examine i mean examine take it out and submit it to a proper examination but sir that would kill me yes your mortality is a great inconvenience but it was not me who created your species and i am not responsible for its excessive frailty uh, conversation was carried out in human language and such it was written down. Oh. Okay. That's not gonna tell you, diddly squat guy. Sorry. More? More armor pieces? Regis, don't leave me behind, please. It's scary in here. This is not a good place, my pal, my friend. I'm not feeling it. This is all it takes to hold one of your kind? Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well... You see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Cut he was punished and in for killing and humans. Those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock, live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time, deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. So, <laughs> I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Place the oh. bait at the tunnel entrances. The monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, scent shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Yeah? This will hold. Doesn't look like anything special. Why are you even bothering lighting the stuff? What the f- I'm gonna watch. Mm, so this is gonna be. <laughs> oh, um. I guess do I have to knock it down? Not 
looking forward to this. Oh, blood moss. Three done, one left. Think this'll work? I certainly hope so. The stench is so thick, I wager it carries clear to Novigrad. Okay. When I have to... <laughs> All right, if we're gonna... Okay, so at least it's not monsters, right? These are legit looking. Um, ooh, killing opponents restores vitality. The amount of vit vitality restored equals 1% of the maximum vitality uh, for each element of the set worn. What does it look like? Oh, it's like armor. That's really flexible looking armor. Interesting. And do I... Oops. I guess we could look at the whole set. Eh, not really. Mm -hmm. eh. Oh, wait. Is there a sword? Ooh, yeah. We have a steel sword. But apparently there's a silver sword around, maybe? Maybe. Might have missed it. Oh, yeah. Necrophage. And, okay. that too. Leave room for one more maybe. Alright, there may be a little bit of a, well, jump there for a second. Jump cutty type thing. Because I just wanted to make sure my recording wasn't going to like destroy itself and like implode. So I, it was, I had been going for about an hour and a half. So, so I turned that one off and made a new one. Here we are. Yay! Alright. <laughs> That's the symbol on your glove, my bro. This is a really- so they're like- I just think it's dumb that they punished him for wanting to drink human blood by bringing in humans and making them suffer. Like, okay, I thought you guys were trying to make yourselves a little less repulsive to the public. <laughs> Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. Bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. I don't want to. want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. I am unhappy. I am oh. unhappy with this. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent of my head. Started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. And then at some point, when he's all agitated. I'm gonna have to get up there and get some of his blood. And then how do I calm you down, Regis? What's the plan for that? You need a safe word. <laughs> Something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm it down. Somehow. Please, You won't be able to. You must force through this, that is all. Okay, the servers explode. And they're the ones that like explode.
okay, this is a guy, that's a, that's a, that's a vampire-y type thing. This is the kind of situation where I need multiple, this is the kind of situation where I need multiple freaking potions on my sword, dang it. Uh, I'm gonna drink some black blood at least. I don't know how long that'll actually help with him, with this guy in particular, but I should be fine. Um, since I'm not excessively concerned about the rot fiends, I'm gonna just put on a vampire oil. Instead. How about you guys? And I have to kill them all the way. Okay, run away, run away. Hello, I've caught a cat, a cat again. Hold on, I'll let you out. Okay. I wasn't really looking. Wow. Yeah. A higher vampire. Don't let him out, you fool. His fingers at me and like rip my face off. Need to hang on a little longer. Blood'll dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother me. I'm sorry. Get you out of here. Him before you let him drop onto the rock. You can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. He wasn't even fully healed from all from all reports that we had too, so this was probably very trying. And like that he was just ugh, it's just unhappy. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. We look a little similar. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found dead love some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. If I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. <sighs> well, I'm going to do whatever I can to not kill Detlaf. Cause, cause he doesn't want me to. Cause Regis is cool, and they're like from the same tribe, and they're blood brothers. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact. The brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a Witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing. Potions. I do. I do that. Very well. The frames are a bit weird. In that case. Let's begin. I don't, I don't wanna. Mm -mm. No, uh, no, I don't. Mm -mm. Looks way too similar to that nasty thing I had to drink earlier. Ugh. I'll never think of cinnamon rolls the same again. Oh, so we had some. Oh, buddy.
Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I have a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. hanging out with humans. I thought he didn't like humans. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlam? What was that? It was in a language I couldn't read. And then Mother insisted we buy the meal. <laughs> Curious, eh? Is he supposed to kill him? Like is Detlef supposed to I kill the count? To spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? What? Uh, why you do that? So it was he mad enough that he did that, that he cut his own hand off, or did he cut his own hand off because he wanted to be found? Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I've begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <laughs> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him. Still killed him. Chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury. Remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm. Interesting. And entirely unlike the death So, oh, Regis didn't, didn't do it. See anything okay. else? I thought, um... Maybe we were both gonna do it, but it was just me. Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlaf. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Geralt Why sounds pretty uncertain? bad. Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly the situation provoked such emotions in Detlaf. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Dedlaw first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Dedlaw. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps Is somebody pulling Detlaf's strings? Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Hey, how's it going? Nothing. Nothing 
first step of the resistance. Oh, okay. Wait, what? The children toiled, toys wasted away. Ooh, they gave me a marker for it. Thank you. Let's check the character. I'm doing that. Oh, we did get... Yeah, yeah, we got a new... Oh, wait, did this... No, 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 no. Letters. The deceased corpse was completely mutilated. All that remained was a nose. Of the nose was a hole clotted with blood. One eye socket had been chewed beyond recognition. The mandible had been torn off. Seeing this, Sergeant Devot vomited profusely. The administration of smelling salts was required. The investigation has been discontinued, and the dead attributed to a supernatural. The deed attributed, attributed to a supernatural being. Fragment of the Toussaint Ducogar report. Letters are classified as vampire, lesser vampires, though weaker than the rest of their ilk in every aspect, from the physiomagic to the physiognomic. They should not be underestimated, for they are very, very dangerous. Flutters cannot be mistaken for any other creature with their wide, toothy jaws, flat, unpleasant faces, and completely hairless, often warty bodies. That sounds like a pretty general monster description to me. <laughs> These vampires mainly fight with their teeth and claws, flailing them blindly, not stopping even when the victim is already dead. Even a solitary flutter is strong enough to take down a trained soldier. Compared to other vampires, flutters display meager intelligence, seen most clearly in the mindless rage, which causes them to try with all their might to attack and tear to shreds any weaker being. Meager... Oh, okay. So I thought maybe it was, it was more, in, like, like a tiny bit more intelligence, like a meager amount more than other vampires, but no. Apparently they're the dumbest of the lot. And they sure do have a lot of teeth. Um, who else got updated? Um. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, um. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, somehow he knew all kinds of things. Um. I do not remember who was updated. And I can't remember Regis's first name. There we go. Um, well equipped alchemist workshop they began to confer his friend had become implicated in some serious trouble Geralt also learned how it was Regis return to the world of the living he had been helping under the very when they saw it brew it luckily he had it another ingredient to brew Ugh. Geralt's encounter with the white left him with the ingredient we just needed to brew the resonance once he delivered it. Uh, used to raise humans like cattle. Geralt later said that even the air in that place smelled of pain and fear. Uh, oof, that sounds terrible. I mean, it caused him actual pain. It wasn't just like, yeah, mm, la di da. It was like, ow. Well, I guess that's good for now. Um, we'll call it here. I guess I'll probably do a regular. I really want to see where this goes, but I know I, I'm going to kind of try to intersperse main mission stuff with um, stuff around the countryside other missions and stuff but yeah thank you guys for joining me i appreciate it. this one probably went a little bit long but um i do appreciate it this is really interesting stuff i think because regis mentioned that there's somebody from the beyond of something somebody who would be very difficult to contact who can actually pull debtless strings but that contacting that person would be very difficult and possibly painful in a lot of ways so I wonder if that person's already pulling debtless strings somehow. Regis, I'm so sorry. He's such a like cultured man. Like to make him go through that, and to make him go through like a relapse of his addiction is like, 
really terrible. Like, it's not just that it was like, oh yeah, I just don't drink blood, it's cool, but I'll do it for this, and it'll suck. Because, yeah, there's that, but then there's also the fact that he's an addict, and a recovering addict, and putting him through that was even, like, ten times worse. So, that was like, and he didn't even, he didn't falter a bit, you know? Like, maybe he did, but it was all, like, in his head or whatever. But, like, he did, he just kind of realized what he needed to do, and he did it. And hopefully there's not too many terrible things that come because of that. But, yeah, anyway... Enough philosophizing and postulating. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.